Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading. I think it's from March 5th through the 11th. Okay, we're going to get one of these. This is the Energy Oracle cards and then we are going to go ahead with the reading. Door to Spirit. Interesting. Door to spirit. Many of you are going through an awakening. You're allowing spirit to talk to you, listening. Higher consciousness. becoming more one, one with the universe. Generally, my readings are love readings. We will see what comes up. You may be giving up on something, okay? You may be giving up on something that perhaps at one time you thought was a commitment, was going to lead to commitment, okay? It appears like there's a door closing. You're, you're letting it close. You're, you're just done, done. I'm done. I'm, I'm no longer going to be stuck here with this person that is not communicating, Okay, you could be dealing with somebody who is very uh, withdrawn. There's lack of communication. There's lack of care. I think you're dealing with somebody where they're they're not reciprocating any sort of um, love and a commitment or a commitment that you had. And I feel like you're letting it go. I'm done. I quit. I quit. Um, I, I I've got better things to do. Yeah, is there some kind of toxic situation that has held you back, that you've been tied to? And I feel as though you are giving up on it. You're giving up on this, this, this false connection that you thought was a true connection. I think that this is a time of uh, closing a door, perhaps in a relationship. And many of you are letting something go. You're letting something go finally. You're finally letting it go. It was just an obsession. It may have been just based on lust, okay? Based on lies, based on addictions. Um, there's a lot of manipulation here. And I feel as though this week you have really taken the steps that you need to take to to not focus on it anymore, to not give it your energy, to not let it hold you back. It's kept you stuck. This commitment that you thought you had has kept you stuck. And I think that you had been reluctant to see a new approach. But but the thing is, is it's like there's no more thinking about it. You've thought about it long enough. Like, you know, I've thought about this long enough. Now it's time to to take action. And you've taken all the time that you you've taken all the, I've taken enough time on this. I've I've focused enough of my energy on this. And it's held you back from a new beginning. Many of you um have been desiring a new beginning, a new commitment, but it has a, a new not a new commitment, a new a renewal of a commitment with somebody else, okay? I think that you, and this is not going to resonate with every single person. I feel like there has been a period of time where you were reluctant to move on with hopes of rekindling a commitment with somebody that wasn't responding, was unresponsive. And it feels like 
you've come to this conclusion that there's no more, there's no fresh start here. There's no new beginning here with this person. So it's, it's really time to let it go. It's time to drop it. It's time to, to quit. It's time to just end it because there's there's the, there's like unrequited love here there's no reconciliation I, I it's over it's completely over something is over and you know it and i think that this is the week that you finally free yourself okay you free yourself from this toxic obsession to this person that wasn't that wasn't committed Okay, I think that so you were committed. You were committed, but the other person wasn't. But I think you you've taken some time. Maybe maybe it's been six months. Okay, maybe it's been six months of heartache of, of thinking and and wondering and trying and contemplating and holding back. And now you've come to the conclusion where this is never going to lead to commitment. This is never going to lead to commitment, so I have to. It's time for me to quit. Okay, it's time for me to quit because I have to do what's right for myself. I have to put myself back on top. I have to. I have to defend myself in this situation in a way that allows me success. And it it, it appears that you had been, you know, pondering back and forth, back and forth. And now you can't you can't deny it anymore. I think there may have been a, a period of anger and bitterness and um, unhappiness for sure. You may have been emotional about letting this go, but I feel like this is the time where you decide to stand up for yourself, okay? And you're starting the the wounds that this has created within you are finally starting to mend or they have mended. I see a lot of mending has gone on and you've grown from this suffering and now it's like I I'm healing. I'm healing and I've gotten to this point where I don't need this unnecessary toxic situation in my life anymore. It's time for me to um end this contract and so that's what's happening i think many of you are completing a karmic contract this week or you have recently or you're going to in the future for many of you you've already done it and this is just the the final touches okay yes it's like you've ended a contract because it's it's time for you to believe in yourself and to follow your own path and set clear intentions for the future. I think many of you have grown spiritually and now you've come to this conclusion. You've got these this clarity that you from within that has allowed you to um, believe in yourself and move forward with faith because what be you didn't want to be lonely forever. I don't I don't want to be lonely waiting forever for this person that doesn't communicate that doesn't want to compromise it's like i don't want to uh, to to die alone i don't want to die alone so it's time for me to take this into my own hands and and believe in myself and move forward so i feel like many of you are are taking action in regards to actually signing the contract Signing the contract and being done with it and saying, uh, contract, um, what is it? I resign. I resign. I resign from this contract. You didn't, you didn't uh, keep your end of the deal. And now I have to move on because I'm not going to, I'm not going to spend the rest of my life alone. Okay. So I think many of you have decided that I don't want to be lonely anymore. So you're setting clear intentions to find a commitment, a true solid commitment. And the thing is is you is you've been you've been keeping it keeping it inside, keeping it inside, holding it in, holding in the truth. And now you can't hold it in anymore. I think that there is a time when we have to Stop ignoring the truth. Stop ignoring our intuition and let it and let it be. And I think that 
what you've been going through, the silence, the solitude, the listening, the growth, the the pain, all of that, has, it, it hasn't been in vain because it's allowed you to, to now set clear intentions for the future. I think that many of you are no longer wanting to go against the grain. You're no longer wanting to fight. You're no longer wanting to compete. You're just, you're no longer wanting tension. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not going to put energy into this anymore. I'm, I'm, I've, I'm not, I'm not going to put energy into something that is never going to work. And it feels like I see that somebody has decided to, um, appreciate something else go somewhere else i mean i just i it appears to me that somebody is is trying to or this is you is is wanting togetherness wanting to be together with somebody wanting to to have be appreciated wanting to be listened to, you know, wanting this communication. You're looking for somebody who is willing to compromise and work with you. And and you've come to the point where you're you don't want you don't want to fight anymore. I don't want I don't need this tension. I don't need to go against the grain. I can't fight gravity. And I'm looking for somebody who wants to work with me. Okay? So you've you've Yeah. You've avoided disaster. You have. I think that this was a blessing in disguise that whatever this is that didn't work out, it was a blessing. You've avoided something much, much bigger. Somebody feels like um, the truth is finally coming out. The truth is finally being, well, you know, I think the truth came out a while ago. I think the truth is finally being accepted. And maybe you're even appreciating the truth. Maybe you're appreciating that you have avoided something much worse. You know, you're looking at this in a different way. It, that's what it looks like to me. It looks like something has ended, and it may have ended months ago, but it took you this time to to contemplate and to heal and to mend and to get through it and, you know, the whole nine yards. And you were reluctant to walk away with these hopes that it could it could renew, you know, that there could be a reconciliation. But I think now you've come to the point where, no, there is no a, a reconciliation because, you know, this person doesn't appreciate me. This person doesn't communicate with me. This person isn't doing, putting in any effort. And, it, you know, there's, there's just no more love here. The love is gone. And I think you've come to the point where you're appreciating what you had. Because I keep seeing appreciation here. I don't know why. I see that you are appreciating what you had and what you've learned and moving forward knowing that you have avoided something much worse. You know, it's, it's like, it's interesting. Um, yeah, I see a new beginning, which you've been blocking. You've been blocking this new beginning for a while now, for months, months, you've been blocking it. And in hopes of receiving some sort of communication, some, something, anything, anything that would keep you hooked. And I feel as though because you have not received that, that it's time. It's time to let it end. It's time for your renewal. It's time for your release. And it's time for you to start a new journey. And that's exactly what this death card says. I feel though as though you guys are being offered the truth. You're being offered the power. You're being offered this new opportunity f to... Accept this truth, appreciate this truth, and use this sword to illuminate your power within to move forward. I think you're being given the power right now to move on. And you're using it. You're using your power to move on from a toxic situation with the devil card. And I feel as though many of you are going through a major transformation that you, you know, you've been going through the transformation, but perhaps you were blocking it. You were blocking the full 
full effects. You are blocking it from, from fully coming into play with this little glimmer of hope that you are going to receive something from somebody. Okay. Um, and I think you've, you've been worried about it. You lost sleep over it. It's caused you a lot of depression. But I think it's over. I think you're closing the door. You're closing the door. You're no longer going to stay stuck. It's time to move on. It's time for you to put yourself in the driver's seat and get the hell out of Dodge. And that's what's going on. It's like, I'm getting out. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Another transformation card. These are both transformation cards. You guys are letting go of depression. You're letting go of worrying about this. You're letting go of anguish and losing sleep. I'm done. I'm done. I'm moving on. I'm, I'm out of here. It's the end. It's time for your transformation. I think you guys are now taking the lead. You're taking the lead. You're becoming mentally strong and you're replacing the fear and the, oh, what's the word? Rejection with faith. It's like, you know what? This this was meant to be. I see this in a different light. This was meant to be. I You know, that's what it is. I do see it in a different light. You, and that's what it is. You're seeing it. And I say, I'm saying me. But we are seeing it in a different light. Yes. Yes. This wasn't meant to be. I get it. I got it. I know. I'm worth more than this. I got it. I, I'm worth way, 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 way more than this. I'm ready. I'm ready for my transformation. And as you say that... That's when happiness comes in. I think that because you're now ready, you're now ready, you're calling in your soulmate, even though we don't have that card, this is what's happening. Because you finally decide to start this new beginning, to go down this new road and let this whatever it is go that didn't serve you and appreciate the lessons it had to give as you appreciate and you truly let go and you replace this this rejection, because I see rejection with with faith, you call in your your new potential happily ever after. And I don't think this new potential hap happily ever after is going to come this week. I don't. I feel like you're calling it in this week because you're closing doors. You're close. You're you are accepting the closure of a contract that never was. And you're looking at it through new eyes. This was a lesson. I appreciate that. I'm ready. And that's the truth. And I am going to read this card, Door to Spirit, for you. Because I don't want to miss anything. This door opens unto the expansive energetic realm where all new beginnings originate. The orbs of light are guiding you through the clouds of the earthly world, leading you to a deeper understanding of your eternal identity, the source of all true value and power. Interesting. That's amazing. This door opens onto truly unlimited potential. For the changes that happen here reach deep into the core of our being. As such, this card often heralds your increasing powers in the spiritual arts and the deepening connection with the spirit world. Don't be surprised if you find yourself becoming more intuitive, more aware of spirit's presence, or more powerful in your own healing practices. Now is the time to open up to the unexpected guidance and inspiration of spirit into the magic and power of your true identity. And this is exactly what's happening. You're seeing the truth of a situation. And as you accept that truth and appreciate that truth, you're calling in your true soulmate. So this is what I have for this week, March 5th through the 11th. Talk to you later.